How's it going, everyone? Uh, my name is Nick Popov. I've been in UE5 for, I don't know, a few weeks now. Um, I've been specifically trying to focus on metahumans. I've been trying to make my own cinematic projects inside of UE5, but I found it a little bit tricky with the whole concept of animating metahumans as well as giving them realistic cloth simulations in terms of clothes and things like that. The environment design is not so much of a tedious part anymore with Quixel, uh, Quixel Mega Scans and all their blending tools and materials and all the options that you have available there. But I noticed that in my search to figure out how to clothe metahumans, how to animate them, that there's really not too much information on it. So today I really wanted to kind of go over my workflow for metahumans and how you can uh, add animations pretty seamlessly to them um, just with a single free download program. So, kind of without further ado, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to import your metahuman. Um, obviously, just enable missing on all of these. Uh, once it imports, just click restart. Alright, once you're back in UE5, you just want to go to your metahuman, go to whatever the name is, uh, drag and drop them in. Just very simple. Okay, so once you've imported your metahuman, you're going to want to come back to the Epic Games Launcher and you're going to want to look up uh, Starter in the Marketplace and then just click on Free. And it's this one right here. So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to add this to your project that you're doing all this retargeting on. Uh, so essentially what we're going to do is we're taking this animation starter pack because inside of the starter pack is the UE4 mannequin, which we can then add animations to, re-export them, and then re-add them for the metahuman base skeleton. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, what you need to do after that, once you've gotten your um, your starter content and your metahuman inside of your project, you're going to want to come to the link in the description uh, to this video and you're going to want to just download this. So what this is, it's a free tool for retargeting MixMO animations, obviously. What the issue is um, in terms of the retargeting method from the mannequin to the metahuman is that the MixMO program or website does not contain a root bone, so it doesn't know how to go about animating that bone because it doesn't exist. So what these guys have done is they have created a retargeting tool that essentially gives you your own... Um, I don't know what this is. The software itself is actually free. Um, let me find it. I'll put it in the description. But anyway, um, yeah, it's this one right here, Mixamo Converter for free, uh, direct download. So essentially what we're going to do is they give you a skeleton that you can then import here into Mixamo, which is this one, and then download it, retarget it through the converter, add it to the UE4 mannequin inside of UE5, re-export the animation from the mannequin, re-import it into UE5 as um, with the metahuman base skeleton, do a couple uh, fixes to the scaling of the metahuman, and then after that you are literally done. Okay, so once you've downloaded the Mixmo converter from the link in the description, uh, just put it wherever you want to put it, wherever is comfortable for you. Um, and here's what we're going to do. So inside of this folder, there is another folder called mannequins. And this is the mannequin that you are going to use. So the one that we added into our project from the starter content, that is just the base skeleton. So that UE5 knows what base skeleton to retarget the mannequin animations to, if that makes sense. I know it's all a bit confusing, but just bear with me here. I'm really trying to explain how everything works, because I know that was a big issue that I didn't understand, and that's what really led me to figuring out how to even do this. So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to take this mannequin and import it into Mixamo, which is this mannequin right here. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is they recommend downloading at a specific frame rate with key reduction, but I noticed that doing that doesn't actually help, surprisingly. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're just going to look for something simple. Let's do maybe like a dance or something, right? Um, so we'll do... Sure, we'll do this one. Step hip-hop dance, right? So what you're going to want to do, just 
once you've imported your mannequin through the upload character, just drag and drop, it'll automatically rig it and everything. Um, you're just gonna uh, gonna want to click download FBX with skin, 30 frames per second. Just leave the base and then just download that. Okay, sweet. Then you're gonna want to switch over back to your folder, um, come into the incoming, and then you're just gonna want to drag and drop that file from the incoming into here. Uh, I'm gonna delete this one. I'm not sure if you can do it with multiple animations. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, I've kind of just been trying to play it safe and do one at a time. But, I mean, if someone wants to try it, go right ahead. Then you're going to want to open the Mixamo converter. So the first step, it's kind of easy. They really walk you through everything. Um, you would just click the modified skeleton, and then that'll take you to the folder that contains the SK mannequin that we looked at, the one that you imported into Mixamo. Uh, this just brings you to Mixamo.com and this puts the downloaded file inside the incoming folder but since we've already done all that all we have to do is go to convert um, now this is one particularly weird part that I've noticed is if you leave this as for UE4 the animations are not gonna work inside of UE5 and I don't really think that this has anything to do with it uh, call me superstitious call me what you will but um, just change this to 5 UE5 because it seems to work when it when that's what it is. Uh, just click convert. That's literally it. You don't need this anymore. You can exit. Um, and then inside of the folder, you're just going to go to your outgoing. So you can see I've got a few different ones in here. Uh, and here's the one that we just exported. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come back into UE5. And we're going to do a couple things really quick just to make everything easier. So what I like to do when I do my animation workflow is have a separate folder dedicated to the animation. Um, one for the mannequin and one for the metahuman uh, because there's a lot of importing exporting that goes on here, a lot of data. Uh, and it's, you know, at this point, once you've gotten to animating metahumans and whatnot and moving them around, you start to realize how many files uh, you really need to do these types of things. So uh, organization becomes extremely important. I'm not sure what is happening here at all. What is this? What is going on here? Uh, let me re-import that. Hopefully that it's just an import issue. Yeah, it looks like it was. Um, okay. So here's my metahuman. All right. So now that we've got our metahuman, go back to content, animation, mannequin, and then you are just going to import from the outgoing folder the exact animation that we just got. Drag and drop that in. Um, and then you want to import this for the UE4 mannequin skeleton. Let me make sure that you guys can see this because this is extremely important. So what you're going to want to do is when you go to skeleton, you're going to want to make sure you select UE4 mannequin skeleton. Um, that's really the only thing you have to worry about. Just go ahead and click import. So to make sure that this works, we're just going to go to content. Uh, animation, level sequence, where you can call whatever you want, I'm not going to. Um, go back to the content browser, animation starter pack, UE4 mannequin, mesh, and then drag this in. Rotate him. Go back to the sequencer with him selected. Click track, actor sequencer, add SK mannequin, animation. Uh, what was this called again? Step hip hop dance. Click on the animation step. Hip hop dance. All right, and we can see that that works fine. So now what we're gonna do is very simple. This is the easiest part. Go back to your animation folder. Click on mannequin and export this. Now I have a separate folder. Uh, you want to click asset actions and then export. I have a separate folder where I keep all of my um, metahuman animations that I export from the mannequin. So just save it wherever you would want to keep that. Uh, let me just find it real quick. We five Mixamo converter. Um, and then at the end of it, I just add metahuman just so I know that it will work uh, for this metahuman. And then just click export come back, go into your metahuman folder and the animation folder, find your file, 
where you um, saved it, where you exported the MetaHuman Dance, then come back into UE5, re-import it, and this time the important thing is just to select the MetaHuman Base Skeleton, and after that just go ahead and click Import. This is no big deal, don't worry about this, this is fine, uh, it's just a warning. Click on your MetaHuman Track, Actor Sequencer, let it add that. Let's get rid of the MetaHuman Control Rig, Body, Animation, uh, Step, Step Hip Hop Dance. And you can see that there's some stretching going on here. Um, and this is really just due to the, <laughs> it kind of looks funny actually. This is due to the skeleton issue inside of um, the actual skeletal mesh. And this is where the whole retargeting comes in, but it's not nearly as intensive as others have shown it to be uh, whatsoever, <laughs> like at all. Uh, let me see, yeah, let me click on this. So here's what you're gonna do to fix that. You're just gonna wanna come into the body of the metahuman. Then you're going to want to go to the skeleton tree, click this gear here, show retargeting options, and then you're going to want everything else except for the root and the pelvis to be recursively set as retargeting skeleton. Hit save, exit that, and there you go. As you can see, our animation works perfectly fine. The height is exactly the same. It doesn't stretch, doesn't do anything like that. Um, the hair animations still work pretty well, the hair cloth physics. So yeah, guys, that's literally it. It's really not as tedious as it's supposed to be or as it seems to be. Um, this is a workflow that ends up going really, really fast once you kind of practice it and make it work. Uh, and know what needs to be done. But outside of that, this is really all I have in terms of animating metahumans. Uh, I'm still working out the kinks for cloth simulation and things like that. Um, but before I come out with a, tor a tutorial for that, assuming that I even figure it out, um, what I do know is that in order to do cloth simulations, I would 100% look into this add-on for UE4 called Draper. Um, it's a bit intense. It really is. There's a lot of information and it even comes with like its own introductory handbook and things like that. So there's a lot of info and a lot of technical knowledge that comes with an add-on like that. But so far it's been, it's been pretty good uh, once you kind of figure out how things work. So I'll come back and talk about that in a later video. But yeah, this is really all you need to do to animate uh, your metahumans. And the best part about this workflow is that you could take this animation, this hip hop dance, and apply it to basically any metahuman. So like, let's say I were to, for example, bring in another metahuman that I have, um, kind of myself, let's see this one, add the soldier. Hopefully it won't make me restart, it shouldn't. Yeah, just let it import that and I'll prove it to you. Okay, it looks like it added it. All right. So our metahuman's been added, it's right here. I'm just gonna drag and drop this. Uh, select mode, select him, rotate 90, sequencer, track, actor to sequencer, add blueprint, get rid of the control rig, body, track, animation all the way at the top, type it in, step hip hop, and let's move it back. But as you can see, it works. Look at that. Beautifully in sync, all three of them. Um, the hair, everything works, everything looks good. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all it is. The workflow is the same for all other Mixamo animations. Uh, one thing I haven't looked into yet outside of cloth simulation is Plask AI. Uh, if you haven't heard of Plask AI, it's a tool that lets you import videos into the program uh, in which they then extract the motion data. So essentially, if you want a video of you dancing, you need specific movements of you, but you don't have a mocap suit, what you can do is just set up a camera, record yourself, and add it into Plask, and then just give it a few minutes, and it will um, 
create an FBX animation file for you. I haven't looked into adding that to MetaHumans yet, but that's my next step uh, because if you could get those two to work together, that would be huge. That's an entirely free way to get top of the line AAA. Uh, wow, uh, top of the line AAA quality. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have right now. Uh, I do want to talk about cloth simulation later, and I do want to talk about Plask AI uh, motion animation with MetaHumans later. So uh, keep an eye out for those tutorials. I'm sure that. I'll end up doing them at some point. I do also want to make a longer video talking about MetaHumans extremely in depth, how to make your own MetaHumans with the new MetaHuman add-on, how to animate them, how to animate with Live Link with the facial expressions. Haven't looked into that yet. Uh, basically, I want to create a entire tutorial that will teach you from start to end how to go from no knowledge on metahumans to creating full projects with them. So that's kind of my goal. So keep an eye out. And if this is something that helped you, please subscribe because those will be coming at some point. I'm just not sure when, uh, whenever I figure it out. So yeah, guys, that's all I have. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.